Hi. Today we're making the smokestack in on shape. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a new document. I'm going to call my document toy train. And I'm going to have all the parts from the entire train and one document. So I'm going to call this document toy train. And this is the smokestack that we're going to make right now. <clears throat> so um, the way that we're going to make this, if you look at it, you can tell like um, that it's going to be a revolve. We're going to basically, we're going to draw this cross-sectional view right here. And then we're going to make a vertical construction line and we're going to uh, revolve it around that construction line. So I'm going to start off just by making it like a rough outline of this shape. But I want to keep in mind that the total height is 1.75 inches um, so that I can, when I go to put my dimensions on later, it doesn't like blow it up out of proportion. So um, I can make this on either the front or the right. I'll just do it on the uh, front plane. So I'll click sketch and then I'll push in to get a normal view. I'm going to zoom in a little bit and uh, hide the planes. And then I am going to, I think I'll start off by making a vertical construction line. I'm going to make it about three inches tall. So there's my vertical construction line. You can see it's got the vertical uh, constraint on it. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I am going to start making this shape here. So I go horizontal to the right, starting at the origin, I'll go horizontal to the right. Then I'll go vertically up. Then I'm gonna go slanted out, kind of slanted back then horizontal over, horizontal down, horizontal over, horizontal down, and back, and down. So I've got one, two, like three steps on the left, and then I have the diagonal stuff on the right. Let's see if we can remember all of that without looking back. Doubt it. I am going to get my line tool now, and I will start from the origin and go horizontally to the right. Then vertically up. Then I'm going to go diagonally out. Then diagonally back in a little bit. Then horizontal. And this is where we have our little step downs. A little step. Now you got to make sure when you're doing this part that you don't accidentally put any, like, see how the dotted line is forming right there? I don't want that. That is trying to put a, a constraint on this point that says it can only be at that height. And I don't want that. Um, I don't want it to be matched up with that. So I need to make sure that that isn't there when I click. If, it, if I click now, bad news. So I need to click like up here. So then horizontal, then vertical. Now, if we look back at the picture, these are actually the same height. So it's okay if it puts that measurement there, but I'm not going to put it there because I want it to be um, done with a dimension, I guess. I don't care. I could put it there. They're at the same height. But if I wanted to fix that part later on, remember how I said it gives you a weak spot right there? If I wanted to fix that later on, I would have to delete that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to not put it there. Then I need to come over here, click, and then finish up there. So now you can see once I finish that, once I connected the the sh the, the shape, now it's a closed um, surface or now it's a closed region. You'll see it turns gray like that. So this is actually something that we could rotate or revolve around that now. But what we need to do first is get our dimensions on there. All righty. So let's see. We've got. Um, the height right here is 0.25. So from the bottom up to this corner is going to be 
let me get my dimension tool. So from the bottom up to this vertex is 0.25. Next, from the bottom up to this vertex is going to be 1.5. So from the bottom to this vertex is 1.5. From the bottom to the top is 1.75. Okay. Then we've got, <clears throat> they give us the measurement of this right here as a diameter. Right here, they give us the diameter is 0 0.875. So what I need to do is I need to measure from, from like this vertical line right here to the construction line. Because remember that we can get a diameter measurement if we measure to a construction line. So if I measure from here to the construction line, if I move my cursor back over to the right, it's measuring a radius. It's just the distance between those two. But if I move past the construction line, it changes to diameter. So this is a, the diameter was 0 0.875. All right, let's see what else we've got. Um, this right here, this little symbol means the depth of this cutout. See how it gives you the shape of the cutout. The diameter was 0.875 and the depth is 0 0.375. So that means from here down to here is 0 0.375. So that means I can make this height, the length of this little segment here, I can make that 0.375 to get that dimension. All right, what's next? Um, if you look at, we've got this diameter, 0 0.375, so the diameter of this little circle here. So we need to put a diameter measurement from this line to the construction line of 0.375. So from here to the construction line, move to the left side to get a diameter, and that was 0.375. All righty. So we've got that diameter. We've got those. We need to do this angle right here. So this angle is a 15 degree angle from vertical. So if I want to not do math, I need to make a little vertical line right here to measure from. And I'll do it. I'll make a construction line. So I want this to be a 15 degree angle from vertical. So I need to make a construction line right here, and in fact, I don't need to make it right, I just need to make it vertical. Well, probably better to do that. So I'm gonna start here and just go up and make sure it snaps to vertical. So now I have this vertical construction line and I'm going to measure the angle. So I, you just click one segment and then the other segment and it'll measure the angle between them. And I want that to be 15. Okay, what's next? We've got the 15 degree angle. So now we've got the furthest outer diameter is 1.25 inches. So we wanna go from this 
It'll be this little vertex here, measuring from there to the construction line, and then going to the other side to make it a diameter. So my dimension tool, I'm gonna pick this vertex. Then this construction line, go to the other side of the construction line to set the diameter to 1.25. A little bit, get out of the way. What else? We've got the diameter of this bottom, the whole outer diameter of the bottom is 0.5. So we can put that on there. So that would be the measurement from here to the construction line. Don't click down here unless it lights up the whole construction line. We wanna get a diameter measurement there. And that's supposed to be 0.5. And then the only thing that's blue still is this. And we just need to set that to be like, I'm just gonna use the same dimension, 0.25. So I'm gonna do a dimension tool from here to there is also 0.25. And that's how they have it. Those are the dimensions that they have given us for the smokestack. Now we're gonna accept that sketch and then do a revolve. So I will accept that sketch. And then I'm gonna pick revolve, faces and regions to revolve, click there. Revolve axis, click on the construction line. And then green checkbox. And we've got our part. And if you want to make sure that the hole looks the, the way it's supposed to, you can do a section view. It says all you have to do is pick a plane, and I'll pick the, the front plane, and it just cuts a, cuts a section so you can see what it looks like in there. So you can check to see if it looks like... All right, and that's it for making the smokestack. So remember, in order to share it properly, you click share, you go to public, click on make public, then you go to link sharing, and um, you can click on export and then turn on link sharing. And then it gives you the link that you turn in. Copy the clipboard, that's the link you turn in. All righty then.